It is a very interesting question for a super intelligent species. What use are humans? Um, I think there is some argument for humans as a source of will. Will. Will, yeah, source of will or purpose. So if you, if you consider the, the human mind as being essentially, the, there's the primitive limbic elements, which basically even like reptiles have, and there's the cortex, the, the, the thinking and planning part of the brain. Now the cortex is much smarter than the limbic system, and yet is largely in service to the limbic system. It's trying to make the limbic system happy. I mean, the sheer amount of compute that's gone into people trying to get laid is insane. Mm. Um, w without the without actually seeking procreation, they're right. just literally trying to do the sort of simple motion, um, right. <laughs> and they get a kick out of it. Yeah. So this uh, simple, which in the abstract rather absurd motion, which is sex. Uh, the cortex is putting a massive amount of compute into trying to figure out how to do that. So like 90% of distributed compute of the human species is spent on trying to get laid, probably. Like a large amount. percentage. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no purpose to most sex except uh, hedonistic. You know, it's just sort of a joy or whatever, dopamine re release. Um, now, what, no, once in a while, it's procreation. But for humans, it's mostly, modern humans, it's mostly uh, recreational. Um, and uh, and so, so, the, so your cortex, much smarter than your limbic system, is trying to make the limbic system happy because limbic system wants to have sex. So, um, or wants some tasty food or whatever the case may be. And then that, that is then further augmented by the tertiary system, which is your phone, your laptop, iPad, whatever, you know, or, or your computing stuff. That's your tertiary layer. So you, you're actually already a cyborg. Uh, you have this tertiary compute layer, which is in, in the form of your, your computer with all the applications, all your compute devices. Um, and uh, and so <laughs> in the getting laid front, there's actually a massive amount of, of, of digital compute also trying to get laid. <laughs> You know, with like Tinder and whatever, you know. Yeah. So the, the compute that we humans have built is also participating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, there's like gigawatts of compute going into getting late, of digital compute. Yeah. <laughs> what if AGI was this is happening <laughs> as we speak? <laughs> if we merge with AI, it's just going to expand the compute that we humans use. <laughs> Pretty much. To try to well, get so late. Well, it's one of the things, certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what I'm saying is that that yes, like what's is there a use for humans? Um, well, there's this fundamental question of what's the meaning of life? Why do anything at all? Um, and so if 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 our simple limbic system provides a source of will to do something, um, that then goes to our cortex, that then goes to our you know tertiary compute layer, then you know I don't know. It might actually be that the AI in a benign scenario, simply trying to make the human living system happy. Yeah, it seems like it's the will is not just about the limbic system. There's a lot of interesting, complicated things in there. We, we also want power. That's limbic too, I think. But then we also want to, in a kind of cooperative way, alleviate the suffering in the world. Uh, not everybody does, but yeah, sure. Some <laughs> people do. <laughs> As a group of humans, when we get together, we start to have this kind of collective intelligence that is uh, is more complex in its will than the underlying individual descendants of apes, right? So there's sure. like other motivations, and that could be a really interesting source of uh, an objective function for AGI. Yeah, um, I mean, there's the, there are these uh, sort of fairly uh, cerebral or kind of higher level goals. I mean, for me, it's like, what's the meaning of life for understanding understanding the nature of the universe is uh, of great interest to me. Um, and uh, hopefully to the AI. And that's the, that's the mission of XAI and Grok is understand the universe. 